This case, attorneys Leo Terrell and Ariva Martin. My phone was blowing up this morning because Ariva, you were just going <laughs> yes. off on this. I was just outraged. And you know what makes me the angriest about this is everyone who's talking about youthful indiscretions and mistakes. These aren't youthful indiscretions or mistakes. These are crimes. And they we gotta call crimes. it for what it is. But he was 14. He doesn't make a difference. 14 year olds can make commit difference. crimes, we, Bobby. <laughs> we charged a 14 year olds with adult, uh, as, uh, as adults. So let me tell you right now, where are the victims? We haven't heard from the victims at all. All this is a PR spin by Josh, his family. Where are the victims? What are they saying? We don't even know the extent of it. We cannot buy into anything that's being handed out because we haven't heard from the victims. We don't know the extent of this crime. Mm -hmm. yeah. We saw the criminal complaint, right, but the victim's names were all redacted out. And in it, it said his parents sat him down uh, and they asked, some of the victims were his own sisters, sure. yeah. to forgive your brother for what he did. They did, and that's how they all got together and, 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 and found God. But in nowhere does it say we alerted authorities. And yeah. that's what the problem is, I think, in this whole situation, is they play judge and jury. They decided what his punishment should be. They decided what the intervention should be. They totally sidestepped the criminal justice system. They went to a police officer who himself did not conduct a thorough investigation, did not turn this over to the district attorney, did not allow the criminal justice system to work for him the way it should work for everyone else. So we talk about inequitable criminal justice system. This is a prime example and, of and, that. And, and the use of religion in their PR statement is disingenuous. This officer sat on this for three years, which which nullified the statute of limitation. And for Mike Huckabee to come out and yeah, provide cover that. is disingenuous and wrong because he doesn't know the extent of these victims. Well, so let's talk can, about so why nothing he did can, that. But so nothing can happen. Huh? But nothing can happen really to him right nothing now. Nothing can happen mm -hmm. unless there are victims out there that we don't know about That's who true. come forward that restart that clock. And I, I'm hoping that all this PR will hopefully get these victims out and maybe we'll know the full extent of it. Right now we don't know anything. Well, I, I do want to point out that although the statute of limitations has run with respect to the victims that are being talked about even though we don't know who they are, you know, this case still reserve, deserves a thorough investigation. Child Protective Services failed these young ladies. Mm -hmm. You know, the police department failed these young ladies. So we need to investigate these departments to make sure that this never happens to any other victims and that the people who allowed this to happen are held accountable. And let me also mention this, please. But I'm pretty sure that family got some legal advice mm -hmm. because they sat on this. And that, and, and this is an indictment. It was like the right amount you of time. Believe. They yeah. sat on this and there's a bad lawyer out there who advised them, gave them advice, in my opinion, advice that morally hurt that family. And that lawyer should be in trouble. This is not the first scandal for TLC. No. Who, uh, you know, had another one with uh, Honey Boo Boo. Honey Boo Boo. Mama but Jew. that wasn't person, <laughs> that person yeah. accused of molestation wasn't directly on the show. It no. was someone right. that she was dating. However, what is TLC's role in this? I mean, they just ran a marathon of this show mm -hmm. after this news broke. Uh, and sure. I think why so many people are outraged, Bobby, and as you saw on, on my Twitter account, is because this family was held out as the perfect family, as the standard bearer of American values, you know, Morality. Against gay marriages, you know, accused gays of molesting children. Mm -hmm. So, you know, spoke to this, this, this better than thou, this holier than thou attitude. And for TLC to know about it, and we have to assume at some point they did know, and not to take a really affirmative stand the way they did with the Honey Boo Boo show, I think it just speaks poorly. And, and to answer your question directly, the reason why TLC sat on it, because of the economic benefit sure. they were receiving. Yeah, the and and the, the bottom line was, you have to ask yourself, why was the release of this? Because they knew they could not provide cover. It was going to come out. Yeah. So they tried to get ahead of it. And TLC, in my opinion, sat on it for a very long time. They're just as culpable as the family. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Well, they did pull the show. So For now. here we are. For now. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Leo Ariva, thank you very well, much. Let's hope these victims